We're now going to look at customizing our charts and saving templates. By default, this is the layout in which your chart will be displayed when you first download MT4. But generally, people like or perhaps have different preferences in terms of color schemes. It's really easy to customize your charts. All you need to do is if you right click anywhere on the background of your chart and go to properties, you'll have a little display box where you'll be able to customize your color schemes and it will show you a little picture of how it may look like. I'm going to go for something that's vaguely what I'm after and save that template and then go ahead and load that on all my other charts. I generally prefer a white background with a black foreground, so the exact inverse of what's been given to me by default. I'm quite happy with my grid in a light slate gray color. Uh, my bullish bars, my bar up may go for something like a lawn green, and my bar down, perhaps red. Okay, bull candle, we'll go for that lawn green. Bear candle, we'll go for red. Okay, and as I do this, you can see that it's being displayed as to what my chart will potentially look like. Line graph, let's stick to black and volumes in black. Okay, and perhaps when I'm happy with these, uh, with these customizations, I'm ready to click OK and you'll see they'll be implemented across my chart. Now, obviously this is complete personal preference and it makes no difference to, to price or your method of trading. It's just whatever your eyes are best accustomed to. Instead of me doing this across all my other pairs down here at the bottom, I'm going to very quickly just save this template by clicking our template icon and going to save template. And it will give me the option to save this and I'm just going to call it something like test template just for, just for example and click save. Now what's handy if I go to my next currency pair, which is the pound against the dollar, I can quite simply open my templates and select test template and it will reappear. And this obviously, obviously saves me a lot of legwork in terms of customizing each and every chart. And I'll just do US dollar against the CAD, same applies. Okay. I've previously uh, designed a template that, that's very suited to the way I trade. Um, and I'll just load that up and I can select that by again going to my template folder, loading a particular template that I've stored on my desktop. Here it is, my template. And it appears. On my particular template, you'll see some different lines to what you probably have on your screen. I have a EMA line and I have an RSI down here at the bottom. These are called technical indicators and we'll be doing a video explaining what these are very, very shortly.